Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new video and today as you can tell from the title um, I actually have to film this very quickly because I'm actually running out of time. I actually woke up kind of late I'm gonna be painting my bike. I'm painting it white. I'm doing the frame white and then forks black and cranks black so I gotta be pretty quick so I guess we're probably just gonna get right into this. I gotta sand my frame down a little bit in the forks just barely just rough it up. I really don't have that much time. It's really the only nice day where I can actually do it. Uh, it says that I can touch it after about an hour. So I'll, I'll paint it uh, quickly. I'll give it about 20 minutes in between coats. You're supposed to wait up to an hour, but I don't really have the time. And I'm very impatient and I don't wanna wait any longer with riding my bike how it looks right now. So I'm going to paint it. I'll probably do maybe 20 minutes between coats. Maybe, I don't even know. Um, and then I'm gonna have to build it back up and then if it's nicer later, if I can give it a couple hours, it's about two o'clock right now. So if I get it all done by th three and then I leave it to like maybe five, then maybe go ride for a bit, I might be okay. If, if it doesn't rain, it's, it's quite cloudy out, I'll show you. Um, it's a little bit of blue sky, but for the most part, it's pretty cloudy. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can get it done. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get right into it. All right, it's probably not exactly warm enough for me to be painting. It's actually a bit of a chilly breeze out, but uh, it's it's gonna have to do. So we gotta dismantle this bad boy. We gotta just give like a light sanding. Like for the most part, like my frame is mostly raw. My cranks are raw. There's no paint on them. There's a little bit of paint on my forks. Um, but for the most part, I really only need to sand down this part right here. It's a little, it's a little rough. If we get kind of close up, you can see it's. It almost looks like there's a, a texture on the frame, which I don't really care about that much. I'm just going to give it a light sanding, um, and then we'll paint it white. Um, yeah, black, black, white, and then we'll be good. So now all we gotta do is just give it a quick wipe down. Obviously there's like dirt and stuff under here. Uh, give it a quick little wipe down and then we're just gonna take some uh, fairly light grit sandpaper and we're just gonna go over it. And then it should be good to go. Alrighty, so after sanding that for about 20 minutes too long, I think it's, I think it's probably good enough for now. And I think for today, um, I'm probably just gonna paint my frame and forks. I think I'm gonna leave the crank arms the way they are for now, anyways, um, just because I really don't have that much time. And uh, before there was kind of blue sky, uh, it's starting to get a lot more cloudy now. So yeah, I'm gonna hang these up in the back. We're just gonna get straight into painting it. All right, in the backyard. I'm probably gonna hang, hang it up like right there on that tree. So let's just set this here. Hope that my phone doesn't fall. Let's paint a bike. gonna have to do for now I'll give you a quick little look look at it it's uh if I can focus on it I don't know it's it's not horrible 
it looks pretty good as you can see there's a couple spots like up here where just like I did a really bad job at sanding it but I don't really care I'll put a sticker on the on the, the head tube or something but yeah it's uh it's not looking that bad I kind of like the white it's uh we're gonna leave it for about 20 minutes or so uh, before I get any, before I hear anything about it, no, I did not cover my bearings. I don't care that much. They'll still spin fine. Um, so yeah. Now, we gotta wait about 20 minutes. I might set up the forks, like, over here or something. And then I'll get the forks painted black as well, so that way I don't have to wait as long. Well, the sun is coming out a little bit, so that's good. Alright, so I'm just gonna give these a quick sand, and then we'll paint them. These are S&M forks for anyone wondering. I don't think they have any branding on them anywhere. No, these used to be uh, closed dropouts or whatever. Or capped dropouts. I don't know what they're called. If it will focus. It apparently doesn't want to focus. Oh, there we go. You can see I've cut it. But yeah, so I'm going to sand these down real quick. And then, yeah, we're going to paint them. Are done that did not take very long obviously they're way smaller than the frame but uh yeah it looks looks nice I guess if I can get it to focus yeah look at that looking pretty as far as I can tell no drips I think we're good to go I was thinking maybe as like a, oh, I touched it. No, no. All right. I was thinking maybe like as like a last second executive decision of maybe doing splatter, splatter black on the white frame. I think I might do that just because of how crappy the frame is with like me not saying anything. So I might just splatter some black paint on it. I'm going to put another uh, layer of white on it, and then I'm going to splatter some black on it, I think, just a little bit, like around the head tube. Actually, probably the whole thing, but yeah, we'll do that. I actually just realized that my seat post is quite silver. Um, I'm going to have to, like, etch out a mark right there to know that's where my seat was. But last time when I spray painted my bike, I really didn't care, and I, I left everything on my bike, which is a horrible idea for chains, drivers, bearings, and everything, but I really didn't care. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to spray over this black, but I have to put like a little notch in the seat to know where my seat goes. There we go. So you can still see that notch. Looks brand new though. <laughs> Surprise. Obviously it's a little rough on the back because it's all scraped up from shoving it in my frame, but yeah, it looks, you couldn't even tell I was used. All right, I've been sitting here for roughly 20 minutes or so. I've just been watching some iDubs. He came out with a new video today. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, just been watching some YouTube videos. Now, I shall go splatter the black paint on the frame. It's a uh, little wet out here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Alright, well that sort of worked. It kind of went on like dots, but uh, I'll show you when it's all built together. Alrighty, we got the frame, the fork, Bar, wheels, we got everything. Now, it's time to build it.
that is what it looks like. It looks a lot prettier than it did before. There is the black speckles on it. You can't really see it that much, but it uh, it looks kind of neat. I, I like it. It's kind of different. And I got glossy black for the fork so it matches the bars. It looks pretty good. Now. The only thing that really stands out now is my cranks, which I will paint in the future. But for now, it looks a hundred times better than it did before. So I'm going to put on, not these, some riding shoes or just shoes with actual grip. I'm just going to ride around on the driveway a little bit and uh, test her out. <laughs> that video thank you guys so much for watching i'm so that my bike doesn't look like poo anymore oh my breath thank you guys so much for watching peace out guys <laughs>